welcome back to the channel. You may have seen my little brief vlog a few weeks back about the setup of our camper Dometic all season five panel air brake. I thought as it was lying there I'd show you how easy it is to put up because it's been a bit windy and it's been up and down, up and down. But we thought while it was drying we'd vlog it and show you how easy it is actually to set up. So the first thing you need to ensure is these two pieces either end at the bottom are in the closed position because otherwise it just won't blow up. There's one exactly the same in the other corner at the bottom. Okay, the other thing that you need to ensure before you start inflating is that these four upper taps are in the open position otherwise your panels down the centre, that there are four of them, they won't inflate. Right, here we go. The gale pump comes in a nice little carry case with a nice heavy duty zip all round. Inside there's a netted part that keeps all your, the tube and the hoses in. 12 volt, backlit display. Um, it goes up to 12.5 PSI extra long electric cable, 12 volt cable you can actually turn it on set it to your, the PSI required which we'll show you when we blow this on and up and there's an automatic cut off on it as well um, great piece of kit as you'll see now so when you're ready to inflate this piece just twists on the end there this little piece pops in here obviously this works the same if you've got a manual pump but you can see all the other little bits and bobs there do air beds and etc okay so that's push that firmly into there fully in there now this is set to 9 psi because it's what it uh, requires so on plus to 9 well, you never know and bottom and also the guy lines that you just peg out and I have to say it's pretty secure so the windbreak clips onto your awning here or you, you can use the guy lines and have it freestanding and that's pretty much all there is to it so at great expense we've flown in caravan royalty caravan vlogger we've flown him in from Essex to rate our windbreak 
So now we've got it all set up and pegged out, I just want to bring in um, someone that you may be familiar with, Graham, the caravan vlogger. He's going to give his uh, expert opinion of the windbreak and give you his thoughts and opinions. All right, thanks Ian. Right, firstly, I thought we'd agreed on a special guest or very special guest or something. Well, you are a very special guest. Yeah, well, I didn't hear you say it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, look at the old camper. Um, when it was laid on the floor, I must admit, I thought it looked like five little paddling pools. Um, it did with all the water on. Um, but yeah, really good. I'm really impressed with the uh, quality of it. It matches the quality of the awning, which is good. Um, it scared the life out of me because it's pumped up to 9 psi, which is kind of what we do the awning. In fact, I very rarely go to 9 on the awning because it is absolutely rock solid. And it scared the hell out of me. And I was sitting over there with my fingers in the ears expecting it to go pop. Like, like I think Claire showed there, showed it's fairly easy to peg down and uh, we really like it. Um, I think we'd be probably get more of the free one metre ones because this is really big. It's five metres, isn't it? Five, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it does make a really nice area outside the patio. Patio? <laughs> outside the, uh, what's that called? Awning. Um, yeah. Well, Claire calls it a patio area. Yeah. And not only does it stop wind, obviously, but it gives you a big lot of privacy. And on this side, these glass panels, as Ian said earlier, these glass panels are really good because you can see straight through and see out there, which is lovely. So, uh, Mark's out of town? I'd give it 8 out of 10. Yeah, that's what I'd yeah. give it. I don't know why I'd deduct 2 points, I'm not really sure, but 10, 10 seems a bit too generous. But yeah, very good. I can't afford one, mind you, having said that. Now come on, <laughs> come on, no. an esteemed caravan blogger like yourself. I'd get two extra motor movers first. <laughs> well yeah, that, that, not like our caravan no, with the honest, quad movers. To be honest, the ones we've got at the moment we've bought with us are the ones that you bang in and they're a bloody nightmare. You know, I mean the old, like the old seaside ones, the striped ones. Yeah, yeah. We had those, we used those in France. Um, and they do stay up, but there's the F bomb. The F bomb. The F -bomb. This is my vlog, I'll and you drop the F bomb into it. Yeah, so that's it. You're oh. going to be at the, dropping the J bomb next, aren't you? I just did, and you missed it. Oh. Um, I'll have to edit that yeah. bit out. Oh, this is great you get a answer. Bit carpet to fit here. It really is. No, that, that, that's not a bad idea, though. Because that would probably fit the one in there, wouldn't it? Maybe I could buy a second one, a second one of them, but then. Right. All these guy ropes are a problem. The guy ropes would probably get in the way. Didn't think that through, did I? Well, no, you did, you know, these are opinions and thoughts and everything counts. Yeah. They, are really, they are really sturdy though, and that was really impressed. Because I, I, I always shied away from windbreaks that have got guy ropes. But, yeah, this is uh, very nice. So, so there you go, that was uh, Graham, the caravan vlogger, giving his opinion on the all season five air brake from Camper Domatic. Hope you found that useful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Um, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Ta-ra.